Hello guys, in this video I will show you how you can encrypt an USB drive fully or just a part of it and how you can use that USB drive on Windows, Linux and even Mac OS. As always, all the necessary links are in the description as well as the timestamps so you can skip any part of the video. I will show you the tool that I have been using for a few years now. It's called VeraCrypt, this is the official website and if you go to Downloads, then you will see it is supported on a lot of different platforms, among others Windows, Mac OS and Linux, and in this video we will focus on Windows and Linux. So let's download the Windows installer. Download complete, let's install it. I will just follow the wizard, read the license terms and accept it. Install. I don't want shortcuts. Alright. Finish. And no tutorial. Now let's see how it works. Here it is, and let's start it. This is how it looks like. Now I have prepared a USB drive here, which just contains a few images. And let's say I want to encrypt this USB drive. Go back to VeraCrypt and click on Create Volume. You will have a few options here to choose from. We will go with Encrypt a non-system partition drive. Standard Volume. Let's select the device. I know this is it. And now we have the option to erase everything what's on the drive. And we have the option to encrypt the partition in place. So that's what I will choose here, because I want to encrypt the files that are already on the drive. And now you get the warning that you should back up your files in case something bad happens. I know the risk, so I will just ignore it. I will just go with the default encryption options, but you can choose whatever you want. And here I will choose a very strong password, 1234, and confirm it, 1234. Next. The password is short, but I'm okay with that. Now here you need to move the mouse, so it collects some random data. Alright. Now with the wipe mode option you can make it even harder for someone who tries to recover your files that were unencrypted on the drive before. So let's say I'm really concerned in this regard, so I will choose the one pass random data. Now everything will be filled with random data. This can take a bit longer, I'm okay with that. And let's encrypt. And yes. Now this can take some time depending on the drive size. Finished. Okay. And okay. Volume fully encrypted. Finish. And now if I try to access the drive inside the explorer, you will not be able to access it that way. Cancel this. Not accessible, we know that. Instead you will need to mount it here. Let's select the device. This is the one. Here you can select a free drive letter. I will go with A. And mount. Now it asks for the password. 1, 2, 3, 4. OK. You can see here it is mounted. If I move it to the side, you can also access it in the Explorer. The initial drive is still there, but you access it through this mounted drive. So let's open it. And the images are still inside. I can now add additional files in there. Let's say I want to add a text file. Test text. This is a test file. I'll save it. And I will also drag this video file onto the drive. All right. Now I have three images, a text file and a video file on the encrypted drive. When I'm done using it, I will go back to VeraCrypt, select the mounted drive, dismount. That's it, and now I can no longer access it. If you don't want to use this user interface, then there is also a command line interface. So if you go back to the website, and here under documentation, scroll a bit down, command line usage, you will see all those different options that can be used for mounting, and even for creating volumes. These are the options for Windows. For Linux and Mac OS, you can see the options if you run veracrypt h Now let's see how this works. I will close the GUI interface and navigate to the veracrypt folder. And here I will open the Windows terminal, which will actually start PowerShell. Let's say I want to mount the drive, then I will write veracrypt, then slash v. Here I know the device is backslash device, backslash hard disk one, backslash partition one, then slash L, and the drive for letter, I want to mount it as A, then slash P for password, one, two, three, four, then slash Q to run in the background, and slash S to be silent. Enter. And now if I check, there it is, mounted. The files are inside, and for dismounting, Vera crypt, and now slash D, and the drive letter, which is A in my case, and again slash Q to run in the background, and slash S to be silent, enter. It is dismounted, let's check it. And indeed there is no drive A. Now let's see if we can open this partition on Linux. Here we are on Ubuntu 20.04. Let's see how we can run VeraCrypt here. Let's go to the website. If we go again to the downloads page, 
Under Linux, you will see all of those dev packages that you can download and install. But there is also a PPA repository that you can add. Let me open the terminal. And I will paste the command in. Now let's do sudo apt update. And now to install veracrypt, just do sudo apt install veracrypt. Alright, let's close that. And open veracrypt. Here it is, it looks very similar on Linux. My encrypted USB drive is already connected. Select device. I know this is the one. Here you can select the slot. I will just go with the first one and press mount. And the password, 1234. Now Linux is asking for my user password. And here it is, USB drive. Open it. Three images, a video file and a text file. Yes, this is my file. Let's try to dismount it. Select the drive, dismount. And the drive is gone. You can also work with the command line on Linux. Let's close that. It is a bit different than the one on Windows. And if you want to see the options, then write veracrypt h. You will get this help window with all of those options. And also at the end are some examples how you can use it. You can also see the list here in the terminal. Now let's say I want to mount a drive, then write veracrypt, then dash t for a text interface, then dash v for volume. And I know my device is on slash dev slash sda1. And you cannot specify the password with dash p. 1234 is my password. Also dash dash non dash interactive. This will mount it in the background. And of course I forgot you need to run this with sudo. My user password. And there it is. Mounted. Everything is there. To dismount it, write sudo veracrypt dash d and the drive dev sda1. Enter. And the drive is dismounted. Of course, you don't need to specify the password here in the command line. So you can do the same thing, but without the password and without non-interactive, just with the dash T and dash V option. Now it will ask you some questions like mount directory. Let's do default, enter, then the password, 1234, enter. We don't have a PIM and we don't have a key file. Now do we want to protect it? Default is no. Let's go with that. And you can see here it's mounted. All right. So this is how you can use it on Linux. There is one additional thing I want to show you regarding Veracrypt. Let's open it. If you don't want to encrypt the whole drive, you can also create an encrypted container. It's like creating an encrypted folder where you can put files in. From the outside it looks just like a file, but you can mount it using Veracrypt like we did here with the encrypted drive. So let's see how that works. Go to create volume. And this time we will go with create an encrypted file container. Standard volume. And the location will be just a simple file, let's call it container, save. So this is the container that will be created. Again, I will go with the default encryption. And for the size, I will go with one gigabyte. Now again, I can choose a strong password here and go with that one. But I want to demonstrate something else here as well. So let's delete the password. There is also a possibility to use a key file instead of a password. So let's see how that works. Use key files. Here you can add one or multiple files which will act like keys. It doesn't really matter what the files are. They can be mp3s, jpegs, zips, it doesn't matter. But you will need the exact same files to mount the drive. If you lose the files, you lose the key. That's how it works. You can also generate random files, so that's what I will choose. I will set the file size to 1024. And then again you will need to move the mouse to get some randomness. Alright, let's choose a name here. I will call it my key. Generate and save. Home is OK. Create it. All right. Now let's add the file here. My key. Open. There it is. And OK. Here you can choose a file system. If you want to use it on Windows, then the best choice would be NTFS. If you only want to use it on Linux, then you can also go with X4. I will use NTFS here. So, yes, I want to use it on different platforms. All right. Now let's generate some randomness again with the mouse. Format. It asks me again for my Linux password. Successfully created. OK. Exit. Now if I search for this container, here it is. And it has one gigabyte. And it behaves like any other file. You can put it wherever you want. For instance here. You can also copy paste it, create copies of this one. But the only way to open it is using Veracrypt. So that's what we will do. Here is Veracrypt. And this time we'll do select file. Let's find the file. This is the one. Open, select the second slot and the mount. Now it asks me for a password, but I have a key file. So select use key files and add 
my key file. OK. And OK. And it is mounted. Open. Here it is. Currently it is empty. Let's say I want to copy some of those images over. Paste. And now I can dismount it. And the images are now saved inside the container. And now you can copy this one over to Windows and you can try to open it there. But again, you will need the same key file. So we'll also need to copy this key file as well. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.